bread left. We'll scroll eight, whatever I had put, some of them. So we have these here. I forgot how long they've been here, so I'm just leaving, putting them out here for him. So he could eat them. I think they're still good, but I just don't remember how long they've been in the fridge because my kids were not eating the ends. So instead of tossing it, I'll leave it here. The squirrel will eat it whenever he feels like it. On here in this drawer. What? They're not cooperating. They're not what? They're not cooperating. Okay, so what? how do you solve it? Because they said, look at the picture at the school. Tell about the problem. So you said the problem is? They're not sharing a book. They're not they, Someone can just get two books and then one age and then after that they, get, they can wait for, for the next one to be done with the book. Okay, so what did you draw here? They're cooperating now. Okay, how are they cooperating? Who told you to use the word cooperating? Who used that word? The teacher? Uh, every word in grading. In grading? Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Go finish it because, Michael, yeah. eat, okay? Just. So, which means? I had to write the mile, round the miles to near 100 and 10. Okay. So, 600. Is, oh, it, does it look like the thing we were doing? Yep. Okay. To so the nearest where? 100. So 628 is close, uh, okay, daddy has to work with you tonight, mm -hmm. okay? Daddy has to work with you tonight because you got this one wrong, okay? The problem is that there's something, maybe I'm not explaining things correctly, you have tonight and tomorrow night to grasp that, okay? This is wrong, right? Round to the nearest hundred. All right, can you, which number is, uh, we do a number one. Which one is uh, uh, in the 100 place? Six. Six, Six. okay. Now, l what do you have to do after that? Go to the next number. Which is? Two. And what does so two, two tell me to round down? What does round down mean? To round down, like, go down, like. Okay. Down that. Okay. What's the down number once you look at it? So this, it, uh, it's six hundred. Yeah, six hundred. Hmm? That's why right. it's six hundred. Mm -hmm. What do you put here? Six hundred. You did not put six hundred. The erasers I, over there. Like, like the teacher cannot think for you. She's gonna see what you write. Whatever you write here, that's what she thinks you know. Do you want to double check the rest before I look at it? Yes. All right. Please take your time because that's what you're going to be tested on. The zero. Are you sure they are correct? The ones that you did? I checked it. Okay. Let me check it one last time to really make sure. Okay. I'll give you time. Yeah. <clears throat> you look at the other ones too? Which one? The the, the, yeah, uh -huh. I did that last. Well, the main thing, are they correct? That's I, all I want. I think so. Uh, let's see. No, All right, seven hundred four round to the nearest hundred. Okay. So why do you think this is seven hundred? I'm not saying it's wrong, and I'm not saying it's right. Why number I, two? Why I think it's seven hundred is that once I go to the next number, zero tells me to round down. Okay. And it says to the nearest hundred. Okay. All right, that's correct. Number three. Oh, number three. 58 to the nearest hundred. So, 58 to the nearest hundred. So, when I go to the next number, 8 tells me to round up still. To the nearest so, hundred? Yeah. So okay. Eight Is there a hundred place here? No. So, so I just have to round up to the nearest hundred. So, I have to go to 100. No. Basically, all you have to think here, I just remember. Here, you pretend there's a zero in front. Mm -hmm. And the 100, which is nothing means nothing. So when you round to the nearest 100, zero, right? Mm -hmm. And you look at the 5, mm -hmm. the 5 tells you to what? Round up. And the next number for after zero is? 1. 1. 
Very good. Oh, so... You got it correct. Oh. Uh, but you got it correct. That is good. That is, blah, blah. That is good. What? Okay. Um, how, I'm going to say it because how I knew that is that I had to go to the hundred. The only hundreds if I'm at the tenth place could be zero mm -hmm. or one hundred. Uh, what? Okay. I don't want to confuse you. Mm -hmm. Whatever you did to get it correct, just keep that in mind. Okay? That's why I didn't want to confuse you any further. All right. Let's do number here to the nearest ten. Okay. So I, I don't need the six here. So the mm -hmm. twenty-eight. That's what tells me. So the two and the eight. So I have to go to the next number of the two. So it's eight. Eight tells me the round up. So the two is a three. Very good. And that's a zero. So I guess I got that right. So okay. Seven hundred four to the near ten. So why I think it's seven hundred? It's because when it says seven o four, I like. Ah, right, it's the same concept here, Michael. You look at the tens place, which is what zero. Okay, and then you look at the number in front of it. Which is? Four. Four. Four tells you what? Round down still. Okay. So it, it stays the same and it's closer to 700, which you have correct. Uh, Here uh -huh. is 60 you have. Very good. Mm -hmm. Five is in the tens place. And eight tells you what? Round up. Round up, which means the, the next number is? is the, the number before the eight. Okay. Okay, I just gonna say the ten for the tenth place change it for the five in the tenth space it changes to a six. Okay. But All right. in the one split Ah, right, we got it correctly. It and uh, let me check further. Alright, let me look at the other one. Okay. I didn't even know that's what the the next question is. Explain why fifty eight can be rounded to the nearest hundred even though there is not a digit in the hundreds place because okay okay because if you round tens to 100 it is either 0 and 100 i don't understand what Basically, what I just said, <laughs> I didn't even know the next question had to deal with that. Because any when there's nothing in front of it, it's as if there is zero. Zero is a number, but zero is a representative of saying nothing. And the next number higher to zero is what? One. Okay. So, can you find a better way of explaining it? Because if you round tens, 200... Uh, it is okay. It does not make sense to me. I do not understand. All right. Mm. Tells me to round down. Okay. And what does the tenth place tell you to do? Also. Okay. Tells. What eminence? He got it from his. All right. Please mind your own business. Answer this. This place. All right. He ate. Let me go get it. To. I'll ask you when I come the, back. The I'll make ask you to read it for me. Put it here, Place. Uh, and then you'll put it in here. Go ahead. Tells me the... Tells... Go ahead, just turn it because we don't want it to fall on the floor. Two, round, round, Go ahead. Two more and then that's it. W and down. Ah, now totally you... Do I have to say what the hundreds place tells me? Yes, you have to say, and hopefully you write everything nicely. Oh, and not the right end again? Oh, no, if you already write end, that's fine. Um, you could turn it two I more. just write a comma? Continue. I didn't know you write the word end. That's why no, I said no. end. There's two oh, blue, two blue. Write another one, another end? No. Just continue. I said end because I did not know you wrote it already. So you wrote it. Continue with whatever you were going to say. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Around down. Uh, I'll come and read it, but start thinking. What? What? 
shit. Now, if I move it, are you gonna get upset because I'm gonna be sitting over here and you're gonna be in my way? Yes. All right, let me move it. Yes. So close, right? Mm -hmm. I'm making my connection back. <laughs> At least I know you're not colorblind. I mean, up, 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 up. Uh, and then we'll take a bath later, okay? And I didn't check your homework yet. Let me work with Michael. Around up, I that's it. All right, let's see. Size, okay. I'm gonna read oh, my. Hold the pencil. Hold the. Pen. Oh, go ahead, read it. Okay. First, read the question and tell me your answer. Six. Oh, stretch your thinking. Write a number that is the same or rounded to the nearest. 601 is the same when rounded to the nearest 110 because the 1's place tells you to round down and the 10's place tells me to round down. Last, the 100's place tells me to round up. Uh, okay, you started good, but then I got lost. All right, let me read it to myself. 601 is the same when rounded. I'll pick it up, don't worry. 601 is the same when rounded to the nearest 100 and 10 because. Was that the is places? The ones. The ones place? Okay, you need to write the word once. Okay. Alright, so that needs to be fixed. O N E S. Okay? The ones place tells you to round, you forgot the end here, mm -hmm. Michael, these kind of words, I expect you to write it correctly. Why? Because the word is part of the question. Okay? It's all over the book, the page. Okay? So if you're not sure how it's spelled, you look where it was written already. Mm -hmm. Okay? These kind of things you need to do. Okay? Um, okay, round, okay, I'm kind of lost now. 100 is the same when rounded to the nearest 110. That is correct because the ones place tells you to round down and the tens place tells me, okay, you and me needs to change. You have to keep it consistent. All right. I'm just going to change me to you. No, you could say me. Change you here to me. Okay, because it's telling, you're talking about yourself. And this is O-N-E-S-R-O-U-N-D. Round down, okay. To round down, and the tense place tells me to round, with an N, down. Therefore... Six or one is uh, six uh, six hundred once you round them all. Okay, not lastly, the one hundred place tells me to round up. No, all right, sometimes you just need to copy from the question because I think this time we got it. All right. Write a number that is the same when rounded to the nearest 110. 600 is the same when rounded to the nearest 110 because the one place tells me to round down and the tenth place tells me to round down. As a result, 600, 601 is 600 when rounded to the nearest 110. Where's your period? Uh, sometimes, if you're not sure about something, all right, mm -hmm. just look throughout the the sheet, the test paper, see if there are similar things, similar question that's already been given to you, that you could look at and pretty much copy what they tell you and put it right back to them. Okay, like for instance, this question: write a number that is the same when rounded to the nearest hundred and ten. All right, you had a little hard time. You left this empty, right? All you have to do sometimes, if you are paying attention to what you were doing, Look. there is one right here. 704, round to the nearest 100 is 700. Round to the nearest 10th is 700. You understand? 
Yeah. All right. Now, just go to the next. Uh, yeah, that, and after that, that's it. Uh, that's the only thing for today. Base uh, word and ending. E D and I N G. Let me look at it. Alright. I'm glad you tried it yourself. That's very good. Alright. Once you change the word, you, you're changing it with I N G at the end. Alright? You when you use E D, the E remain, you just add the D. Right? But when you putting the I N G behind it, the E is removed. And you just put U S I N G using chopped. I used to this out the way. Your feet all over the pillows. Hmm. All right. All right. So use, used, and using. Okay. Both of them need two G's. So do that. Okay. Doing nothing. We have coloring books. I want you to take the coloring books and practice your color. Oh, that's probably that. I want you to practice coloring. All right, when you come here with those uh, things from school, they look nasty, okay? At least try to make the body look like a body, a face look like a face, but you use one color for everything. It's not good. All right, when you're sitting here, instead of playing with the tablet, I want you to practice that, okay? All right, let me write some words for Michael, and then you, you could go... Or... No play, because... That's only on weekends. Okay? Don't... I want to play with it. They just finished the shower. Okay, only the ad. You made me a lot of sandwich. The, okay, only the ads, and then leave this for another time. And then after that, I'll give you some word problems. Kapich? Mm -hmm. Take your man out. Uh, take your hands out of your mouth and come. I forgot to tell you. Uh, did you? Okay, Mark. Practice your first and last name. All right. This looks good. Okay, but the M. Remember uppercase. Mm -hmm. The that's a very nice M, but it needs to go higher, similar to this. Like this, like this. So what happened to this? Okay, the L is perfect. Everything looks good. I don't like this A though. Because it passes the line. It, the, the, the tail has to go on the... On the line, yes. You know exactly what you have to do. So let's erase that A. And we're going to fix that M. Even though it looks nice, I want it to go all the way on top. Okay, just like this. If you could make one just like that, that would be perfect. I can use this pen. No, you're going to use pencil. And this A, I want, move your hand, move your hand. I want it to look, okay, see the tail, this tail doesn't sit on the line. This tail doesn't. All right, so I'm going to erase the A's, all the A's, and you want, I want them to sit on the line. And this M is going to go up. Ring. All right. Ring. Let's erase. Today? Wallet. Oh, I'm gonna take these goldfishes out. Can you okay. give me these first? Okay. Where should I put them? Put uh, two in his thing. Mark, you're following the same line. You, we just erase. Remember, it's no good. We want it between these two lines. Erase it, please. You could put in his two in his uh, lunch box. I put in the bag. I need to get some. Okay. Erase more. I want it to be clean. When you erase, I want everything to be out. I see it a different way. After I did that, I'm like, mm. Okay. You finish it out. Okay, Mark. Can you round these to the newest stand for me? Put the answers next to them. Oh, so. Your, mm. Only the answers. Round them up and put the, the answers to the newest stand for me. All of them. Very okay, good. after okay. each arrows to the newest stands. Okay. I don't know if your answer is correct. But I'm assuming they are. Just make sure whatever you put is based on your whatever number you have here. And then I'll check to see. Okay. Wait, so today, 10? Only 10, only oh, okay. 10. Is this all good? Okay, I don't like that A still. Mm-hmm, where's the tail? 
Okay. Put the tail on this. The circle was nice. I didn't erase it. Just put the tail. Make, oh, oh, what the? Make the... No, Mark, I erase it for a reason. Don't follow the line that was there before. Create one better. That's what I... Yes, <laughs> it's kind of small, but it's better than before. Move your hand. Now make the A. Make it nicely. Very good. And where's the tail? Okay. Make the tail here. Do not follow this line. Okay? That was the one you did before. I didn't like it, so go ahead. Fix it. Make it sit on the line. Nice. That's it. It looks good. Very good. And what did you have to do here? Rainbow. Write the word in three colors. But they don't give you room to write the thing. What are they? Read the I word, find the and little and color the squares. The and little. See, I it's the it. and little. You I color everything. I don't know what I'm supposed to do that. Did somebody read the instruction to you? Hmm? No. All right. So now what you, I want you to do, you're going to take the eraser. It's going to be a little bit hard to erase. I want you to erase the words that are not the and little. Either way. So? Okay. The. Should I erase the. this? Should I? No. All right. I want uh, to tell me only the ones I should erase. Since you color everything. I. Uh-huh. And. Uh-huh. A. What's I am. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let me erase it for you. You finish? I. What's one there? All right. So, all right. We erase the ones. So, next time, Mark, I, if nobody's reading the direction to you, can you please ask Michael to read it to you? Okay. All right? Because, like, these crayons, it's hard to erase. Uh, find the and little. The, little, little. Excuse me. What happened? I farted by accident. All right, move your hand. I guess we just need to trace these three colors. So how many colors do you have here? Two. Okay, so you need one more color. It will be yellow. I mean, green is my favorite. It's almost like my favorite color. Okay, but you already used green. Uh, erase this. Don't erase it because they want you to use three colors. So just trace above it, above those colors. All right. Oh, on this side. Find some colors, crayons well, well, that you don't have, and you put it in your book bag. Well, I have this. All right, so a different color. All right, this. Coming with three. Eight. This coming with me. Nine. Good. Wait, you have to color. Green already. Three. Michael, please leave him. Okay? We're going to focus on you. Nine. Good. Yes. Five. Come with me. Two. Uh, oh, my God. Good. All right. Everything's correct. Very good, Michael. All right. So let's see some word problems we have here until Daddy's going to be doing... Um, uh, what is it? Rounding with yeah. you, okay? Because wow. I, I was a bit disturbed with the things you got wrong. So I want Daddy to at least give you a different perspective. All right? You got all those, right? Okay, addition word problem. Okay, so do these, please. And you come in with me. All right, I'll check. All right, so these came handy. Daddy print them for you. You were supposed to do them over the summer. Mm -hmm. All right? Two hands. Make sure you understand yeah. what you're doing, what you're reading. You should get some rounding papers. Color of me. Uh, All right, what wait, color? Wait, this green. That's green. So uh, you only want one green. Okay, that's good. You have yellow already. Go, get the ones you have in your bag. Let's see what you have. They are coming with me. Yes, they are coming with you. They're going to be in your book bag. I'm going All right. to they are going to the venture. They are going in the It's too hot in the room. Stay here. Okay. So they're coming to venture with me. Uh, put it in, in your bag. They're coming to venture with me. We don't want to work like that. Um, on all your homework, make it a habit of putting your name, okay? See, this says name. Spell it for me. N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-
M E M E N A M E. That's my name. Put your name. Just in case if you lose it, listen to me. Just in case you lose your homework, guess what's gonna happen? If someone then do theirs, they're gonna grab yours, okay? And then they're gonna say that's theirs. So I want you to have a habit of putting your name on your homework, okay? Even though this this homework says to write your name, but up here. So I'm supposed to write my name and just in case it's if I lost it. That's right. And no, and you just need to write your name every time. To I'm talking to hey. mommy. Hey, I'm talking to you. <sighs> Listen to me. It's not if you lose it. It's so that teacher can see you did the work. Okay? All right, now tell me. Be quiet, man. Come here. Speak. I'm listening. Why are you crying? If I lose it, um, they will just open the page and then they will see my name. Yes, that's right. Please write your name. Okay, I want a very nice M, very nice A. Nice. Good. Uh huh. Oh, my Leave space. Name. Leave space. Over here. Mm hmm. Very nice. You even did it better than these. This is perfect. Good job. Uh, I think I'm going to get you some um, coloring books so you could practice a little bit. Color. Hi, oh, man, uh, please. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you could practice, Stop. okay? Stop. Burping, please. All right, so you could practice uh, coloring, okay? And it's fun. It's fun to color. Have you been practicing these books? Yes. Yeah. practicing the first one. Should I ask you? Mm -hmm. What's, now, what's two plus one? Two. Uh, don't come and look. Go back. Uh -huh. Two plus one is three. Okay, you take too long. What's five plus one? Six. Okay, that's a little bit too long. Seven plus one? Eight. One plus seven. Eight. Three plus one. Four. Four plus one. Five. Very good. What's one hundred plus one? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God, Daddy. Well, what is it? Uh, answer it so Daddy could leave me alone. Uh, it's too much for him. Okay? Uh, Se oh, move back, move back. Michael, these you should know. Okay, please mind yours. Mind yours. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. uh, go over there, Mark. Five plus one. Oh. Six. All right, Grandma's calling me. All right. Can you look at the two parts for me? Because you need to start knowing the twos. Here, the twos. Uh, I need to answer this. Let me see. Okay. All uh, right, Mark. When you're doing things like that, sit up straight. What, Michael? Okay, mm -hmm. I understand. Okay, I need you to think, all right? Okay. I if see you're using you're one color okay, for the leg, the one. leg should be the same color the, as the arm. Is your leg, look at your arm. Is your arm different color than your leg? Yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Mark, good. is your, your skin... From your tummy to your leg, is it different color? No. No. So this is why I want you to practice, to think. That's all good, Michael. Okay? Except this one. All right, that I is talking too long. All right, seven. at least you stay so inside the line. Become? All right? I want you to practice every day. You could, you could go. Good job. I want you to use common sense colors, things that make sense. Leave the this book here. You could leave it here. Eight. 